you a bit stiff, that old Yorkshire geek. Excuse the hair. Of, uh, I have bathed. <laughs> it's, it's nearly Christmas, so I've bathed. Uh, and excuse the background. That's uh, I'm, I'm watching Star Trek the Animated Series uh, in preparation for a live stream. But anyway, that's by the by. Got some Star Wars news, not Star Trek news. Uh, you remember the, um, the trilogy announced that Simon Kinberg is going to... Uh, be heading up, uh, writing and producing that. Um, I don't know if he's directing. Did he say directing? Can't remember. But anyway, it was like, you know, a scoop for Deadline. And I think it was also an, you know, an exclusive for Deadline. I think we're also an exclusive for The Hollywood Reporter. But uh, they're both owned by the same company anyway, so never mind. Is it Penske Media that owns everything? Anyway, uh, but according to Cameron Pasha, who was speaking on um, Latino Slant's website, or Pauly at Latino Slant, he said it's not true, and executives at Disney uh, didn't know anything about it. So we're going to have a look at that now. So we'll have a little clip, but go and subscribe to Latino Slant and go and um, join uh, Cameron Pasha's um, uh, Patreon. Uh, links are in the description for both of those. So let's have a look at this video. I won't play it all, you know, because you've got to go and watch. Go and watch Paul is. I'm just going to play a clip of it. But anyway, so here we go. Right, here we are. Uh, there's Paulie on the left uh, and Cameron on the right. He's, a, he's amazing. I can listen to him talk all day. Is he right? I don't know. He has been wrong before. But he has been right as well. So, before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe, and share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell if you've subscribed already, and all that good stuff. Uh, explore the description for various links from my Patreon, merch, books, websites, stuff like that. Uh, and also, the, you know, as I said, the uh, link for Latino Slant is down there, and Cameron Pasha's uh, Patreon page. So let's have a listen. Let's have a listen. There shouldn't be an echo. Yo, <laughs> I mean, it, it's like when there, there was this this report. I think it was on it was on like on Thursday, right? We mm. see we see we two see two reports come out at the same time, and they weren't official press releases. They were. Each of them claiming to be exclusive, so obviously somebody called both of them. This was in Deadline and The Hollywood Reporter, each claiming to get the exclusive scoop that uh, that Simon Kinberg, right, uh, you know, it has been it has been given a new Star Wars trilogy, right? Hmm. Uh, and the moment I saw that, I said, that doesn't sound right. I mean, that doesn't sound right at all. I mean, based on everything that I reported, just where we are on the journey, and uh, yeah, that, that didn't feel real to me. Uh, and... So I then reached out to to my source, Barrow, inside the company, and, and they got back to me. They're like, nobody knows anything about it. Literally, like, they, they said Lucasfilm executives don't anything about it. Disney executives don't anything about it. This is Kathleen Kennedy running off, and and you know for reasons we could talk about, yeah. trying to you know, stir the pot, which she's very effective at because the fans always fall for it. They fall for it every single time. It's just like it's like a cartoon, right? You press this button, you get the response, right? And so there we go. So apparently it's not true, but Cameron does go on to say, you know, yeah, it does have evidence of this. Um, so we'll uh, we'll we'll listen to that part. Um, it's not just him saying that. Um, there is a, it's being confirmed. Um, <laughs> right. So here's the link that we're on Cameron Cameron Pasha's page. Uh, why Lucasfilm entrusted Simon Kinberg to pilot the next Star Wars movie? Is that Simon Kinberg? Um, there we go. Uh, but it says down here, look, the project is considered internally to be in deep development, whatever that means, and not nearly ready, not nearly ready to be made public. Um, and there you go, it says it came as a surprise to many executives at Lucasfilm and Disney. So is this just Kathleen Kennedy doing what Kathleen Kennedy does best? Announcing things that are probably never going to happen. Why does she do it? Is it some pathological thing? I don't know, but anyway. And then oh, there was also some surprise within the wider industry that Lucasfilm had turned to Kinberg as the newest steward of Star Wars on the big screen. Do you think she's trying to undermine John Favreau? Because um, he's the, the heir apparent in the public eye, isn't he? And people talk about Dave Filoni and stuff like that, but a lot of people don't like Dave Filoni because of his bloody cowboy hats and his wolves and stuff like that. John Favreau's a much more co cosy, comfortable person he seems like a nice fella um somebody you can trust he's trustworthy is john favreau isn't it i you get that impression but um 
Anyway, so there we go. So right, so Ka- uh, Cameron goes on. Look, so he, he he continues, and pretty much says all of these things. Which is number one, it, it's a shocking thing. I don't think I've ever seen this in a trade. Variety says, L- "quote Lucasfilm and Disney executives didn't know about it." It said, so "Yeah, uh, s- so this I is mean, a scoop what I said. Confirmed. Less than 24 hours after I reported that Lucasfilm executives knew nothing about any Simon Kinberg Star Wars trilogy. Variety has confirmed my scoop, saying execs were surprised by the announcement. So there we go. Uh, so they're then going to talk about John Favreau, as I've just mentioned, um, uh, about how, you know, is it a dig at him? Because John Favreau's, I think he's one of the producers behind Skeleton Crew, which is coming out soon, which it, a lot of people in the, I don't know myself, are saying this is going to be a, a really good show. I don't know, but that's what they're saying here. So let's have a listen anyway. And this is a Favreau. This is a Favreau production. In, this is a Favreau in, production. It's a champ. It's something he's championing. He's trying to he's bring. Champion, he's right. He's trying to bring the heart back into it. He's trying to bring kids back to it. The whimsy, the magic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Trying to bring so, us back to the childhood, which is what he wants to do. So yes. So I speculated two things. One, I speculated this is, and I think it's likely. Again, we the speculation all comes from timing. So I was asked, who, who benefits? Qui Bono yeah, and timing. Why is now? So why now, right? So who benefits? The only one benefits from the announcement of Kathleen Kennedy because it agitates the fans who she hates and makes everyone believe she still has power, right? Number one, okay? Uh, so that's who benefits. The only, only only one benefits is her. Nobody else benefits. Even Simon Kimberg doesn't benefit because he's had these articles saying that he's you know he's not really that successful. Why is he getting this thing, right? So now here's my update. So the speculation is one, which I think is very clear. She did this to, to sabotage the... Um, the uh, energy that's building for good vibes, right? For Skeletal Crew, it's exactly what she did with when she announced the fake Ray movie during you know the Star Wars uh, gathering, right? When when they were talking about all the incredible things about to do, she suddenly drags Daisy Ridley on stage. It's not on the schedule, and announces the thing to take all the thunder away from John Favreau's. We're going to do all these amazing things, right? And mm-hmm. she's doing it again. But now, but why? But why didn't she do that a month ago? That's my question. She yeah. could have done these scouting group who's been developing for months now, right? At least public consciousness of it. Why didn't she do it two weeks ago? Why did she do it on Thursday of this week? Well, what happened on Tuesday night of this week? Hmm. U.S. presidential election, right? Right. So this is my speculation. If you want to read it, go ahead and I'll, I'll analyze it. Yeah. So uh, you're. So there we go. So saying it's a, you know, it's a political thing as well. Not just uh, a dig at John Favreau, who you know she's trying to undermine. According to Cameron, um, they're all thinking, you know, because everybody, it's TDS, isn't it? It's Trump, Trump derangement syndrome. Everybody in Hollywood, or mostly people in Hollywood, seem to hate Donald Trump. I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. I don't like any politicians. I think they're all scumbags. I do. I don't didn't like Joe Biden, don't like don't like Kamala Harris, don't like the politicians from this country either. Keir Starmer is a greasy, oily bugger. Wouldn't trust him. But um I'm not a I'm not a politics fan. But um but it happens. So anyway, so there we go. So um according to Cameron Pasha, um this new Star Wars trilogy is not gonna happen. Uh, they did say that about the acolyte, saying that's not going to happen. And the money that were given to it were just for a, a sizzle reel, but we know that ended up not being true. So, could this be totally different as well? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, go over to the uh, Latino Slants um, YouTube channel and subscribe and watch the video, and go over to Cameron Pasha's uh, Patreon and um, become a member there. You can join for free, and you can read some of his some of his scoops and articles there uh, some of them are locked behind a paywall but um, you can become a free member um, oh I think I've got it here there it is look there's his uh, his, um, uh, his Patreon uh, there you go some stuff's locked some stuff you can read so there you go um, so right so I just thought that was interesting so we'll leave it there is this film gonna or are these films gonna happen in this form, with Simon Kinberg at the helm. An odd choice, just out of nowhere, isn't it? But uh, anyway, so there we go. So we'll leave it there. So thanks for watching, wherever you are. Look after each other. And until next time, I'll see this.